Okay. So let's uh, uh, look at uh, uh, the two different alternatives of uh, thinking about the Jacobi method for the Poisson's equation. Okay. So the first, uh, the first way is just to try to do time stepping, right? So let's, for example, say f is equal to once of n, uh, not once of n, once of n and m, uh, n and one. So we get a, a vector, and we want to solve uh, ax plus f equal to zero. Okay. So. The first alternative is uh, think of uh, dt would be equal to minus 1 divided by the diagonal entry of a11. In this case, it's a uniform, uh, it's a uniform uh, um, delta t, right? And in general, I can just uh, say diag of a, and I have to do dot divide. So basically, dt now in this case is actually a vector. It depends on where the grid point is. Okay, and you can take a look at this. Uh, this case is actually uh, uniform. Okay, uh, five minus five. All right. So then uh, we start to iterate. Uh, we can set my x zero is equal to zeros. It can be any initial condition. And then my x1 is going to be uh, equal to a times x0. Uh, it's going to be actually x0 plus delta t times a times x0 plus f. Right? Uh, right. So this is dot, pro dot product. So delta t being a grid dependent time step, I need to multiply it with the corresponding entries. So now let's look at what x1 is. Uh, close. So x1 is going to be uh, 0. Uh, let's actually take a look at uh, what this is. Yeah, so it, it's now a very small number, right? So when I plot it, I don't know why it shows up at zero. Let me plot it again. Okay, may, maybe it's a maybe it's too small to show up, but basically, uh, I get a I get a non-zero value, right? And uh, I can do this again. So now I use x one as my previous time step. I get x two. My x two now is a little bit more right and in reality i don't have to do this uh, with x1 x2 i can just set for example x equal to x x2 and uh, i can just uh, iterate by saying x equal to x plus delta t times this right so so i can do this again do this again and i get different axes now my x is uh, starting to be Taking shape in sen in the sense it's small in the in the boundary, getting bigger in the middle, right? So let's plot x. Right. So now we see an x that's kind of uh, bumping up a little bit. The final solution you probably have seen this before is a parabola, going up and then going down. And for example, if I do for i is equal to one to a thousand, I can do this iteration for a thousand times. And that's done. Uh, my x now looks like this. I can just hold on, plot x. Now it's looking like what we are supposed to get, uh, the parabolic solution. And uh, uh, just uh, to see how close we are to the final solution, the, uh, the top of the parabola is supposed to be what? One eighth, right? So the top of a uh, half of x times one minus x is uh, yeah, it's, it's one eighth. So one eighth is this much. Uh, so this is still actually a bit away from uh, the solution, right? Although it looks like uh, it's taking shape. So let's maybe perform another thousand iterations. Okay, we plot the solution again. You see, it's getting. A little bit higher right and we can uh, evaluate again uh, no, no, 
this one plot it again now we see the purple one is even getting higher so it's still not uh, uh, at the point yet so maybe let's just uh, take a little bit more iterations and uh, we'll get there at some point uh, plot yeah now we get uh, the green one looks pretty close to point one to five so so this is basically Jacobi iteration and uh, as you can see if, especially for Poisson's equation it's really taking its time to get to where it's supposed to be right and uh, uh, so so let's analyze the convergence property uh, let's analyze like how fast it's getting close to the real solution okay so so here um, we again we call this convergence analysis so this convergence analysis I want to make sure it's very different from the convergence analysis we did in analyzing finite difference operators so in analyzing finite difference operators the convergence analysis is basically saying if we increase the number of grid points how is our numerical solution getting closer and closer to the true solution this is a different type of convergence. It's converging to a different thing. As we iterate more and more, the solution is actually converging not to the analytical solution of the PDE, but to the solution, to the true solution of just the linear system. It's still converging to a numerical solution, right? It's just that as we iterate more and more, the solution would get closer to the solution of the linear system. Well, when looking at uh, finite difference for PDs, we are saying as we refine the grid point, we are converging to the true solution, the numerical solution, assuming I'm solving the linear system exactly, is converging to the analytical solution. Right? So, so this is uh, fundamentally two different types of convergences. All right.